Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 16th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Yet another M-class solar flare has shot at Earth. Four very active sunspot regions on our sun. Still keeping us on our toes as we are going to be expecting some space weather events from August 18 forward. Looking at last 48 hours incoming, no more cresting sunspots, but another one on the right-hand side there forming quickly. Looking at the last two days outgoing, that large plasma filament, another ejection there, our very active sun has released over 20 solar flares in the past three days or so. Two very active regions here spitting out M-class solar flares and just recently another M-class solar flare. Looking at multi-spectrum, that large darkened V-shaped coronal hole has since been split apart from those large events in the southern hemisphere with that sunspot region earth facing so the complexity of our sun has dramatically changed in the past 24 hours that elongated coronal hole ahead of that large sunspot which was a quickly forming one documented here the other day with daily events So incoming solar storm, August 18th into the 19th, and most likely will continue for about three days, maybe four days, with all of this activity. Looking at Alaska here, showing that blast coming out from the bottom half of our sun. A lot of energy, a lot of plasma. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing that newest blast taking off towards Parker Solar Probe and as well Earth. Set to arrive 18th into the 19th looking at the NOAA Space Prediction Spiral here. Noting out these two large M-class solar flares that are on their way amongst a dozen or so C-class flares that we saw in the last little bit. So 18th midday is when it is set to arrive. Looking at the solar x-ray flux remains in C-class range right now. Highly energetic solar x-ray flux M5 solar flare geomagnetic activity is heightening down real-time solar wind sitting at 370 kilometers per second and just today we saw a phi angle flip right here most likely expecting another space weather event Schumann resonance for today is a power of 27 Definitely a little bit healthier than it has been in the last couple days. Low power of 14, amplitude of 27, and quality of 7.7. Now let's get to earthquakes here. The past 24 hours sitting at about 250 earthquakes across the USGS map. And our largest being here, south of Australia. 5.5 earthquake, Macquarie Island region. As well, we saw a couple deep earthquakes here. Kermadec Islands, 333 kilometer depth, as well as 4.7 there. 4.5, 438 kilometer depth. That is the deepest past 24 hours. Activity moving up into Solomon Islands, as well as Papua New Guinea seeing activity today. Quiet through the Philippines and across Indonesia. Continual earthquakes here at Kurilsk. Russia, 5.1 reported today, and as well as four other ones. 
Alaska seeing increased seismicity, 3.9, largest through the region, and quiet across the North American plate still. La Libertad, El Salvador, 4.6 reported there today. Swarming continues in Puerto Rico. And as well, Mono Passage, 3.4 reported there. South America, way too quiet. Heads up, everybody. Central America, North America, and South America on watch right now. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Very active west ring of fire as well up into the Eurasian plate. Increased activity into the African plate as well. Atlantic Ridge quiet this week and minor activity, well, 4.0 and smaller across South America. Definitely not enough of an energy release for the area. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. As we're looking at Sangue in Ecuador, Semeru in Indonesia, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Raventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru. So that's only about six volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting. We will be giving a weekly volcano update soon, so stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Looking at satellite imagery, we have one named storm, Tropical Cyclone Yvette. But watch for things here in the forecast to dramatically change through the Atlantic as tropical systems are ramping up. Flooding conditions will worsen through parts of southeastern Australia and as well New Zealand with that long line of moisture shooting down and south of Australia, very large low affecting you. Lots of heavy rains heading through India this week as well. Forecasted a lot more rain and possible tropical, tropical system. Now let's get to the world weather forecast. Starting out here, home base Ontario, as we will have scattered showers and thunderstorms over the next two days. Spotty at best. The only major system is the Alberta Low, Alberta Clipper, that will be coming out uh, Thursday into Friday. Looking across Ontario and northward, spotty conditions. And then we have this beast of a system heading into the Atlantic provinces, going to bring heavy rain, strong winds. There's that Alberta Clipper heading in for Friday and Saturday. Set to bring a little bit of moisture to parts of Ontario. United States, watch for a lot of moisture along the trough line. Into the Gulf and Texas, you could have another tropical system developing for you. A lot of moisture and stormy conditions across the Atlantic right now. As some pretty strong lows are, gonna, are set to come off of the African mainland. Quick look into the forecast here. Long range towards the end of the month. 24th and 25th. There's at least two tropical storms forming. Mid-Atlantic. That one particularly will be heading towards Cuba in the long range. So it's a little late in the season, but things are picking up in the Atlantic for tropical storms. It's been a very dull, quiet tropical storm season. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, central regions. Parts of Sudan are experiencing flash floods. Looks like for this weekend coming up, could have some moisture towards South Africa. Overlooking Southeast Asia and India. Mumbai this week will be very wet. Heavy rains, strong winds heading through India this week. 
No tropical systems, no typhoons developing in the West Pacific. But look at in the long range forecast here, pretty big system heading into parts of southern India and Sri Lanka. That is for late forecast here, 26th into the 27th. Watch for that system to continue on across western shores of India. Eastern Australia looking for rain in the long range forecast. And as well, heavy rains heading into New Zealand, prompting flood alerts. Some possible snow for Tasmania in the long range. And very cold conditions, Southeast Australia. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.